Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 30 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to offer some advice. You know, as we get more proficient in Lightroom, what often happens is our adjustments become very mechanical. We adjust clarity the same way and we adjust our shadows and our highlights and our whites and our blacks the same way all the time. And what happens when we do that, we kind of lose um, connection with the creative side of our being, that thing that got us into photography to begin with, to where express ourselves in a creative way. And what I would, ex uh, my advice is, is that you use these technical tools in Lightroom um, as a starting point. And then once you're there at that starting point, then you could adjust it to your own personal liking. And let me try to show you better what I'm trying to explain with this image. Um, it's pretty much adjusted already. We're going to go up to the basic panel though. And for this example, I'm going to talk about the whites. And I've showed you over the many videos I've done two different ways to adjust your whites and your blacks to get the quote perfect technical adjustment of white or black. And one of those ways was you would hold the shift key in and you would double click on the word, in this case, whites. And when you double click on it, you'll get that quote, perfect white point. This is what Lightroom considers to be a perfect white point with nothing clipping. And as I look at the image though, I don't like that white point. It just is too dark. Um, I just don't feel it. I don't like that white point. Well, I did show you another way to adjust the white point is you would hold the Alt or Option key. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. Hold that key in, click down on the white slider, the screen will turn black, then you move the white slider to the right until stuff starts to bleed through, and then you would back it off just a little bit. And I backed it off to plus 87. Now, as I look at it now, it looks okay. I like it a little better than the other one, but it is pretty bright in here and I suspect I'm clipping. And I look over here at my histogram and it looks like I am. And I will hover over this right triangle and you can see that this red pops up. That means that I have some pixels that are clipping. And I might want to print this and I don't really want anything clipping. I don't want blank paper on on the printer paper. I want it, uh, it to actually be an image. So I don't care for that either. Well, I didn't like the first adjustment where I held the shift key in and clicked on, double clicked on whites. And I don't like this adjustment where I held the option key in. And you're, if you have a PC, of course, it's the alt key in. I just don't like it. Well, let's eyeball it. Let's just click on this slider and put it somewhere in the middle. And I kind of like it like right there. Let me see, am I clipping? I don't think I'm, I don't see anything clipping. I don't see any red in there anymore. And you know, it looks pretty good to me. So it's not a technical adjustment anymore. It's a creative adjustment. And that's what I encourage everyone is I give you all these tools and all these ideas and all these tips to get these kind of technical adjustments. Well, take that and use it. But if you don't like it visually, don't let that dissuade you from just going in there and adjusting the slider by eye. Now, of course, this is assuming that you're on a computer with a calibrated monitor, because if your monitor isn't calibrated, what you're seeing isn't really what necessarily will be printed. So it's very important to have a calibrated monitor. But with that said, the point of my whole uh, video here is just to remind everyone that Photography is creative first. It, it is technical. We have a lot of technical things with cameras and lights and, and you know, apertures and all that stuff. Very, very technical hobby. But still, you really have to keep that connection to the creative side of yourself uh, when you do it. And that's really what makes the images you. If everyone adjusts their images like I adjust my images, we're all going to start looking alike after a while. All right. That's it for episode 30. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.